Hi, it's Peter back again. I've just um, come across this creek I've never been up before, so I just decided today that I'll, I'll go for a walk up here. Uh, I've known this creek's been here, but uh, I've never had had the opportunity to go and explore it, so that's what that's today. So, uh, there's supposed to be a mine up in this area somewhere, so I'm taking it that it might be in a creek, there's a couple of creeks here, the long ones, this one and there's one west of me, they come off the hill. So I'm just going to have a look up this way today and just see what I can find, uh, see if the creek is traversable first. And uh, yeah, see how we get along. It's, uh, it's going to be tough going, there's, there's a bit of, uh, I think a small creek and uh, not much place. Uh, uh, it's a lot of rubbish in it, so we'll get along and uh, see how we go. We've got a fun nose in around that place. Try another one. Frightened off. No, oh, it's a uh, turkey. It's a turkey's nest that's been extended. Oh, whether it's, whether it's building it now or building it for next year, I don't know. So we're leaving it alone. I'm going to land tenor in this creek. That's what I think might stop me later on. This creek's probably only about oh, only a couple of kilometres long. So we'll see how far we can get. Oops, there it goes again. When I first came across this creek, it was uh, a few days back. I've been here for, for eternity, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I've, just, um, I've been practicing for my multi-day hike, and uh, did a 21 kilometre walk around the roads, and saw this creek, and yeah, I've decided to come back now and uh, explore it. Something up there in the bushes. Yeah. We're tough to stick along today for the first time ever. Go back. Go underneath. Might be better.
to the gold mood. So I'll pull down to check my hat, see if I haven't got a hitchhiker. Yep. Going all there, or an orb. Very spider. I'll leave it. Rebuild, but don't do it in the same spot. Yeah, I'm the antenna. Antennas been quite reasonable so far. We have flushed across this log and very careful about that. Make sure the log can't wet because I've seen too many people break an arm or break a leg by doing by doing such a Doing the thing is working with quick love. Another spider, another orb. Just have to watch out for those now on. They're home, I'm just trying. Swimming hole when the, when the water's flowing, which is probably never. Ah, we'll go underneath. We just walked a few paces up from where I was sitting and having a talk before, and uh, I'm not the first one to be here because this looks like a dog's blanket there. And uh, what I thought might have been another turkey. It might have been uh, an, an animal in there, animal wandering around having a drink. Although the water doesn't look overly tempting. I want to see some tracks. That could, be, could have been a turkey if there's no tracks around here to say it was a pig or a dog or anything. Butterfly. There's some white ones back there too, but they didn't settle down for me to get up close look at them. This probably isn't the most exciting creek that I've ever walked up, but uh, no, it's, it's, a, it's a good, it's a reasonable walk. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you around. Uh, or rain, open rainforest mainly, <laughs> just for rainforest. Downstream. No trees in it. This stick that I'm carrying, it's what my first stick I, I made, I, I did all the plating on this myself. And it's the first one I, uh, I plated. I've made several more, I've sold. Uh, probably dozen, fifteen, 
so far. I'm not uh, pushing them very hard, but uh, just doing it for a hobby, putting them in the uh, uh, information centres around my around my area, and I uh, sold a couple of private ones. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, just looking in there at the uh, saplings and it's like there might be some future walking sticks out there. Hmm, I might have to come back here and when I run out of timber at home, or we'll run out of sticks at home, get some from out of this creek. Okay, we'll keep walking. Big tree. Yeah. Elk one up there in one of the branches. Bit of land down to forge my way through. Got my stuff in it. I'm going to come uh, out the creek a little bit, the main creek's over there and a little tributary coming in from the right up there so we'll cross over and uh, get into that main creek there's a huge amount of lantana in that area there that I had to crash through so yeah, we, that's the creek, that's the main part of the creek is just over here Better. I tried many years ago to get up this hill from the from the other side, but I uh, got that much land tenor, we just gave up with a group of us at that time. So I tried this side and there's less land tenor in the creek. But there still is some. We'll see how much is up further. How much is going to stop me from walking. Being a lot of land tenor, and there's a fair area there. The mine could have been, the mine I'm looking for could be in that spot there because it's been cleared and the land tenor just come in and uh, taken over that section. You can see how much land tenor is up here. Um, if, it, if we don't get much up here, then well, I might be right about that. But, I'll be the first time I say. These rocks aren't very good on the old kneecaps, I tell you. Yeah, keep going. 
just a uh, bit of cluster fig in front of me there. Figs are edible, but uh, usually by the time they're half ripen that the uh, grubs get into them and unless you want to have protein with your figs, they're probably not worth eating. Yeah, cluster there, somewhere down near the ground. Uh, There, these small ones there. Yeah, should go get some flies, fruit flies, something to uh, chew on for a while. The birds might get into them too, have a bit of a feed, but. Yeah, maybe by the time they get ripe, they've been stung and well, we can't do them. Oh, so there you go. Stick those all around over there somewhere. I could cut the two on it, but they won't. Yeah, just sitting, so just sitting down, or just up there on the rocks, and uh, having a few few uh, nuts and uh, the dried mango to smoke. I was looking around, and I spotted spotted this. Been there about ten minutes before before it clicked. It's all man-made, that's where the road is, to go up to the mine. It tips continues right along, right up there, and we can get up top here. And this is where the road used to be. Overgrown now, but uh, yeah. There's the um, historians in, in the local area, they'll be pleased that I found this. I'll have to go and have a talk to them tomorrow, or, yeah, probably tomorrow. Show them some photos of it. I'll be quite stoked. Um, I'll just back and pack on in a minute and uh, we'll, keep, we'll go up there and have a look, see how far it goes and uh, see if we can find where this mine really is. Actually some water in this creek, a little puddle, puddle hole along just back there. And uh, looks like another one just up further, so I'm just going to switch off for a second and take a few, few still photos and then we'll continue on this track. Okay, I'm about to head off again. I've taken still photos and uh, I've marked it on the GPS exactly where it is. So yeah, now we can go up there and see if we can find this uh, mine. Uh, I don't know if, how many other people know it's up here or have worked out that this is a man-made rock structure. So yeah, we, we could be the first ones to see it. Drinking it. I think it might not need to be filtered before it is drank. Let's have a little rock structure. It's still along, just petered out here because we've come back into the creek. 
Okay. I don't know what type of mine it was up here, whether it was copper or tin or, or what it was, just no idea. Some more structure here, you see the road definitely there. There. Make it easy on myself and I'll walk along the road. That's good. Yeah, uh, no, I don't think so. I might walk up in the creek, I think. coming into the creek. Got a bit more rock stuff to there. That's one of those cluster pigs. Out in uh, the right, there's a heap of green ants around it, keeping guard, so maybe they want it, or maybe they don't want anyone else to have it. But, uh, yeah, they can get quite, quite stroppy when you play around up their territory. You've got more green ants going on this cluster. Yeah. That's what one looks like, right? I'll leave it for the green ants. That one there would not be fun if the green ants are uh, doing their job. They won't let a moth go anywhere near it. This would be pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's nice and firm. Well, I'll leave it there and continue up this creek. There's a heap of land turning in there. I don't know which is supposed to be the, uh, the correct creek. I'll just check the uh, GPS. Now it should be that one there straight ahead. And that'll be the end of the creek. So, might not find the mine, but I know it's here in this area. So we've probably got another 200 metres and this creek will, will be no longer. Right, that's the last little bit. the bush on him. Right through the bush on a little for a little way. Yeah, definitely some nice sticks here to make walking sticks out of. These seed pods in front of me are, are from the uh Pindesia Australis or from a name of Crow's Ash. And this is a seed pod from it. I've always liked this tree and I've got, actually got one going at home. It's only about a uh, metre and a half tall at the moment and I don't know how much bigger it's going to get. But when I was a, when I was a child, we lived on a, a dairy farm out of West Bundaberg on the Burnett River and it had one of these trees and 
when I was nine years old, that tree was huge. I went back about 50 years later, stood beside that tree, and it was still huge. So I don't know if it's grown anymore, or uh, if it's just, it remains stationary, but you know, it's a beautiful tree. And uh, I'll just try and point it out. There, just above me, above me somewhere. A little one, little one there. And, uh, no, I see, I can't see it. Oh, there's one, one right over there, you won't be able to see through the trees. Yeah, so, it's a nice, a nice find up here too. And mainly an open, a dry, what, what, uh, a dry area tree. Well, I might uh, stop going uphill because I've lost the track. Most people might think I've lost the plot, but uh, I might come back again another day and uh, explore it a bit further. This creek. Oh, hang on, I might have dug up a bit further. Go up there first. Go up another couple hundred metres. What the heck? Let's do this rotten land tenner. Yeah, the creek's just about petered out now. It's just uh, coming into the wall of the uh, wall of the creek. So I might just turn around now and head back down and mark where I think it might be the mine. I don't see any uh, copper fragments, so it's not a copper mine. People that dug the holes might have made him hope for had something better in it. Yeah, that much of an antenna around here that's quite hard to um, find where anything is. But finding that road, and it has come up a fair way, is quite exciting. The south of mine is anywhere to be around in this area where I am now. That looks a whole lot like, like uh, stuff that they've dug out. Not that it's a little bigger. There's a lot more, there's le left dirt in that area. There's a lot more dirt over there, so it might be in amongst that antenna there. I don't know, and I'm not pulling through the antenna to find it. I might mark this spot, and uh, that'll be the highest I've got to.
I just marked it on the uh, GPS, so it's 2.21 kilometres up to the end of this creek, which isn't a big deal, and uh, yeah, it was quite a pleasant walk, so I'm just going to head back now and uh, get back to my start point where I started uh, this year's trip, or well, started this movie, and uh, get back onto the bitumen road and walk home. It's about another six kilometres back to where I live. So I hope you enjoyed watching this, and if you did, you be uh, subscribed and if you haven't done all so and give me the thumbs up and if not hit the bell so you can look at other more of my adventures so until until the next uh, my next walk take care be safe and have a good day thank you very much for watching